oh, I put this off for so long because I know it's going to take me an age and I've been thinking about it I think I'm gonna to have to break it down into four steps and I thought this first step would be the quickest the easiest and now that I'm looking at all these clothes I'm thinking maybe not <laughs> Ooh, let's go Hi guys, it's Laura and I help you live a simpler, happier, more spacious life. And let me give you some background in case you missed it. Last year, I went through my entire closet and I got rid of the clothes that didn't fit me at the time. I had put on some weight, pandemic pens. Fast forward a year to now, I have lost a lot of weight. If you wanna know my secret, it's chronic illness. And I think it's high time I was reunited with some of these old friends. But here's the thing, my own closet is not exactly empty at the moment, so I know that when I return some of these, whatever currently fits me, to my own closet, it's going to be a bit of a squeeze. But it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I turned 38 recently and I just promised myself that I was going to start dressing up a little bit more. I've had a crap year, okay? I've been really ill, all sorts of health struggles, and this is my one way of making myself feel better. So yes, while I know I'm going to be packing a lot of clothes back into my closet and recluttering it, if you will, I can't say I'm mad about it. Kind of looking forward to it because I haven't seen these clothes in a long time and I'm hoping a lot of them fit me. I know some of them still won't, but we're gonna try them on and we're gonna see. Step one is going to involve me removing all of these clothes from here, bringing them to my room for two reasons. One, there's a full length mirror in there, so I'll be able to see how the clothes look on me. But two, like I said, this is a guest closet and I have guests coming. My family is arriving in two days, so I need to get this cleared out. I'm gonna try on each and every one of them. I'm gonna see which ones currently fit. The ones that do will go back into regular rotation in my own closet. The ones that still don't fit. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll decide when we get there. But listen, fit is not going to be my only criteria. As you know, I've been following the Convery method for a number of years now, so I'm also going to be asking if these clothes still spark joy for me. I already know that there are a few of them that I'm going to be willing to part with. I decided to break these ones down into subcategories, number one, so it's less overwhelming, but also it's just easier to try on the same type of clothing. So bottoms first, shorts, skirts, and trousers. You know, it's funny, but sometimes I get flack online because I have so many clothes and yet I call myself a minimalist, but I think it's okay to have, you know, one category that you truly love. And I do love all of these clothes. And it's interesting because as I was trying them on, a lot of them brought back memories. The pair of trousers that I wore the weekend that Sam and I got engaged, the pair that I wore when we went to pick up the key to the first place that we lived in, and this skirt. Oh, let me tell you the story of this skirt. I spotted this when I was out shopping and absolutely fell in love with it. Tried it on, zipped it up, was admiring myself from all angles, thought it was the bee's knees, and then couldn't get the zip down. <laughs> I, I don't know how long I was in that changing room. I was sweating buckets. I thought I would never get out of there. I thought they were gonna have to cut me out of it. <laughs> I eventually plucked up the courage to ask somebody <laughs> to help me. So yeah, a sales girl came in. We both wrestled with it for a long time and eventually the <laughs> it gave way, the zip gave way. I don't think I've ever been more relieved in my life. And <laughs> I mustered up as much dignity as I could, which was very little at the time. And I walked out of that dressing room and I just handed her the skirt. I was like, I won't be taking this one. <laughs> but I went out, picked up another one, checked at the zip on that a few times, made sure that it was going up and down smoothly. <laughs> and I still got it, just does not currently fit me, but I still have high hopes for this one. But yeah, funny story. And they all have funny or wonderful memories attached to them. There were a total of 29 bottoms in that guest closet. 19 of them now fit and still spark joy. So they're going back in my closet. Eight don't currently fit, but they do still spark joy. So I'm setting those aside for now and two will be leaving. Two pairs of jeans going to be leaving me. I love them, but over the years, they've just kind of stretched out in 
unflattering ways, so uh, time for tops. There were 35 in total, 29 of them now fit and are going back in regular rotation. Three don't currently fit, but I'm still keeping them, and three don't spark joy and will be donated. Then I moved on to dresses and jumpsuits. I started with 16. 10 of those are going back into my closet, five don't currently fit, and one is going in the donation pile. The final subcategory was suits and outerwear. 17 in total, 12 going back into my closet and five still don't fit. This has been a surprisingly lovely little stroll down memory lane, particularly with suits because I bought those when I was starting out, most of them when I was starting out on my legal career and it was just a it's a wonderful time. I'm so glad that so many of these fit me again. Ugh, expect me to be wearing them every day for the next few weeks. <laughs> and now I've got to do something with all of this stuff. I think I'll probably just end up chucking it on the floor <laughs> to be honest. Tells everyone how much she cherishes her clothes and then tells everyone she's about to chuck them on the floor. <laughs> no, I'll probably put them on the chair over there. <laughs> Out of a total of 97 items, I will need to find space for 70 in my closet. And now it's on to the next step. Day two, phase two, and my original plan in here, which I have since scrapped, thankfully, was to uh, do what I did yesterday, basically, try on every single item of clothing in there. Like I said, I've scrapped that idea, did not realize how long it would take me. And I don't know why, it's not like this is my first rodeo, <laughs> but my parents are gonna be here tomorrow. I don't have time. <laughs> if I'm unsure about anything, I will try that on, but that's it. And a little confession time. Uh, some of the clothes that used to be in the other closet over the past few weeks, I have actually been wearing them because I figured some of them probably did fit. So every now and again, I would sneak one or two items out of there. It's also a little bit messy in here. So I'll be able to tidy all this up and have it looking spick and span. Righto, let's go. <laughs> I initially planned just to focus on clothing, you know, not shoes or bags, so that's all I took out for this round, but as you'll see later, I went back to tackle those other items, and it was probably worse than clothes, to be honest, but clothes was still pretty bad. Hold me. <laughs> um, it's just a matter of powering through. I'm just procrastinating. I'm just gonna dive into this and get it done as quickly as possible. I know not everyone agrees with this, but something I find really important during any big decluttering process is a maybe pile. If you get stuck on an item, it is going to break your momentum. I have learned this the hard way so many times. I've run out of steam, you know, physically and mentally because I've agonized over an item. And then I still have a huge pile to go, whereas now, I like to make quick decisions and set aside anything that might slow me down or that I'm unsure about. And that way the bulk of the work gets done and I can make a lot more progress. So here, anything I was unsure about, I hung on the door and after I'd gone through everything else, I came back to those items, trying them on to help me make a better decision. Cool lads, I'm sweating buckets. This is a workout and a half. I feel like I've been doing the hokey pokey for the last half hour, trying on clothes, seeing what I think of them and then the mental gymnastics too. Should I keep it? Should I let it go? Uh, let me show you the progress that I've made. All of these on the bed, these are the ones that are going to be staying. I've got just like regular clothes and then also, you know, underwear, pajamas, workout clothes, etc. Over here then, these are things that I'm actually also keeping, but they were just kind of looking or smelling a bit musty, so they need to go through the wash. And then these are the ones that I'm actually going to be getting rid of. So this pile here is stuff that's going to be donated, and then the other pile here is stuff that can't actually be donated for one reason or another. I have to say, even though obviously the kind of get rid of pile is significantly smaller than the keep pile, I'm still pleasantly surprised by how much I'm letting go of. And now let me be honest with you, uh, this stuff has to go back in the closet, but I'm just gonna fling it all in there <laughs> for now um, because it's getting pretty late. I want to take a break and phase four at the end of this is actually going to be properly organizing the closet, tidying it all out, you know, making everything look decent. For now, I just need to be able to sleep in this bed tonight. <laughs> Something else that goes against a lot of decluttering methods, certainly the KonMari method, is that I personally 
keep anything I'm really not sure about. I think it's better than possibly regretting a decision. Sometimes it's hard to uh, rationalize or verbalize why we're attached to an item. So I'd rather be safe than sorry. But I will say, if you have items of clothing you're not wearing, but you can't seem to part with, still get them out of your closet. Maybe pop them in a memories box because the draw for you is more sentimental and personal than it is practical. You don't want clothes you're not currently wearing clogging up your closet. I washed the clothes that were a bit musty, which leads me nicely to phase three, which was washing and ironing. I caught up on all the laundry over the course of two or three days, honestly, so that when I put things back in my closet, I knew that I was accounting for and creating space for everything. Oh, things have escalated. <laughs> things have gotten much worse since I started. It has been about three or four weeks since I delved into this process. And in the meantime, my family visited. There was lots of shopping. I bought more stuff. Most of it is now sitting on my closet floor. I also noticed that the bottom rail is coming away from the wall ever so slightly. But today's the last day. I'm wrapping it all up and I am very excited to see the final result. This step is always a pain, but in my experience, it is worth it. And that is emptying out the space completely. And yes, it's instant regret <laughs> instant regret but ultimate satisfaction it had been driving me crazy to see everything so disorganized so dusty and by taking everything out i was able to spot some things that i'd forgotten i had you know because they were tucked away somewhere or because as is always the case when stuff has been sitting around for a while i had just become blind to it i was so used to seeing it that i stopped truly seeing it so i got rid of 18 extra items and with the closet empty i was going to be able to tackle those little diy tasks like tightening that rail give everything a good clean and start fresh with a clean slate and this one was pup approved <laughs> i make the same mistake every time every single time i dust and i don't wear a mask or anything and then i just end up choking on dust and my sinuses all flare up and i just know i'm gonna have a migraine later today but anyway now we're getting to probably the worst part <laughs> that is putting everything back in but the end result is going to be so worth it i just know it is and look the reality is i would make so many changes to this closet if i could i hate this wire shelving i would love some sort of drawer system in here for like socks underwear etc but that's a future project right now we're working with what we've got what we've got is a deadline all of this stuff has been back in here so that my husband and I can actually sleep in that bed tonight I'll be honest with you I'm losing the will to live here <laughs> I have a problem and it is not that I have too many clothes it's that I have too little closet space it's been um, quite a while since I started this just today uh, and I've only got the clothes back in. I still have to do bags, shoes, socks, underwear, etc. I think I'm going to do bags next because that's just one section. I can get it all done. And then that's one thing, like one area complete. I think that's going to give me a sense of rejuvenation and will keep pushing me forward just to give myself just a bit of a boost. Oh, I need it. I kept similar colors together to try give everything a more kind of cohesive store-like look with darker colors on the bottom so that it didn't feel top heavy, if that makes sense. Uh, bags I don't use very often went on the top shelf and I donated five bags. So then it was back to clothes. I had already put tops on the top rail, bottoms on the bottom rail and tall stuff like dresses on the tall rail. Now I am arranging everything by type as before. So short sleeved, long sleeved, etc. Even Jovi was exhausted <laughs> by this point. And then it was the final few bits including shoes so many dusty dirty shoes i was able to let go of 11 pairs including two pairs of boots sadly most of them can't be donated they're just in bad condition but i cleaned and replaced the rest that took way longer than I thought, but it is looking so good. Before I show you, I discovered something ridiculous about myself during this process. I generally prefer to wear trousers and it's not because I don't like to show my legs or anything, but I was trying to figure out why and I realized it's because 
it's kind of comforting to me. But I have a friend who hates trousers. She considers them leg prisons. Which camp are you in? Leg prisons or leg swaddlers? And now before things get totally out of hand, let me show you around. All my tops here on the top rail, all subcategorized, you know, short sleeve, long sleeve, etc. Down here then I've got all my bottoms. So I've got shorts, trousers, ones that can be worn like with flat shoes, then ones that need heels and then skirts are here at the back. Coming over here then is all the long hanging stuff. So back in the corner I have got jumpsuits, um, like dungarees, that type of thing. And then longer dresses, shorter dresses, and then just a suit in here. Coming up here then we have got bags. So this little one just has some clutch bags in it. And then at the bottom is where I have like socks, underwear, like workout gear, etc. My kind of like most worn shoes here. Anyone has any recommendations for what I can put along here? I'm thinking maybe like foam board or something. Under here then I have got some other flat shoes that has some flat sandals in it. And then just tucked in here are some slippers, heels, the ones that I wear least often because they're like the highest or just like the most awkward to walk in <laughs> um, here at the top. And then the ones that with kind of like chunkier heels or a wedge, so I do reach for them more regularly are right here. And then down here I have some boots. And then way up on the top shelf here is kind of out of season stuff. So it is fleece lined leggings, so they will be coming out soon um, and swimwear. And then my heavier pajamas are tucked away in here in the bathroom ready for winter. For lighter pajamas, I have decided to store these just underneath my bedside table, tucked in there out of the way. Believe me, I have tried the drawers. They are far too shallow. These are the bags I'm going to be donating, five of those. These are the additional clothes that I will be donating. These ones are going into memory boxes. These are the shoes and boots I will be donating. And then this is just a big pile of trash essentially. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> and because I couldn't fit everything into my closet, I had to move some stuff out. So these are all of my jackets and some lighter coats. I put these here in the linen closet, which is right outside our bedroom. Coats are down here in the coat closet. These aren't all mine. So it's from the green over to this trench coat. Those are my winter coats. And for the clothes that still don't fit me, but that do spark joy, they are right back here where we started in the guest closet. Maybe after watching this, you're all excited and motivated to declutter, but wait, there are some things that you should never declutter. I have listed them in this video. Go watch it so that you don't have any decluttering regrets. Head on over there and until next time, go rev, meal and mahakwev. Hugas vekimay shifshikalua. Slán.